what is going on? So for the video this week, I'm going to do a little update on my progress. So I started out doing a little bit of a bulk. I talked about that about four weeks ago. i have been doing that for a little while. And now I think it's time to go the opposite direction and start to cut. And I really want to lose some weight. I need to get slimmer. I'm sick of the way I look. <laughs> And I just don't like the way I look in clothes. I don't like the way I feel when I work out because it's a lot harder when you're bigger. So the cut has officially began. So the highest my weight got was 179.8. And today it was 176.4. So I'm already heading in the right direction. I think it's mostly just water weight because I've reduced my carbs a little bit, but I'll take it. So the other thing I wanted to show you guys today was I'm going to do a little chicken meal prep and I just made some really yummy chicken the other day and I wanted to show you guys how I do it. Give you a bunch of tips on how to make your chicken because I know especially chicken breasts can be really hard to make because they're really easy to overcook because they're so lean. But I'm going to show you a few ways that will make your chicken not suck. Alright, first thing you need to get, chicken breast. So make sure they're all thawed out if you're using frozen ones. You just want to get as much moisture out of the chicken as you can because it seems counterintuitive like oh if I draw all the moisture out it's going to make the chicken dry. That's not true. It's when you overcook it it's when it becomes dry. So you want to get as much water out of there as you can. So get it thawed out and then we're going to pat it dry. So as I am patting dry the chicken I'm also flattening it a little bit just so it's more of a uniform thickness because I'm going to be sauteing it before I stick it in the oven to cook. And when I saute it, I want as much surface area getting that crust and that crispy part. And so it also make it cook more evenly so that little thinner part on the chicken breast won't get all dried out. Now I've set my oven for 400 degrees so it can preheat and I also turned on my skillet to a fairly high heat. Um, I'm going to go super hot, otherwise you are burn down your house. Okay, now I'm going to put some oil in the skillet. I recommend using a high heat oil like avocado oil or coconut oil just because it doesn't smoke as soon and it doesn't break down at a lower heat like olive oil would. Season it with some salt and pepper and then you can add whatever other seasonings you want. I'm just going to use onion and garlic today. Then you're going to put the seasoned side down on the pan. After you lay them down in the pan, don't touch them. You gotta just let them sit. Don't try to move them around or check them. That way you get a nice golden crust on it. You'll notice there's like a tiny bit of smoke coming out of here. That's okay. If your whole pan starts to smoke, it's too hot. So we have a nice golden color on there. Now I have my baking dish ready. If you have nice enough pans, where you can stick them straight in the oven, I'd recommend that. But because mine has a rubber handle, I'm afraid it'll melt. So I just transfer them over into a baking dish before I go in. Alright, so they're looking good on both sides. I'm just going to transfer them over to the baking dish. Carefully. Oh! <laughs> so the next thing I'm going to do is probably the most important step. I'm going to use a meat thermometer to gauge when the chicken's done because I can never actually guess when the chicken's going to be done right. I always seem to overcook it or undercook it. So after I got the meat thermometer, that solved all my problems. So chicken needs to be cooked to 165, but I'm going to turn the thermometer down oops, to 160. That way, after it comes out of the oven, it'll still cook for you know a couple minutes, and I'll wait till the thermometer gets to 165 out of the oven. That way I won't risk overcooking it. So just stick the meat thermometer into the thickest part of the biggest chicken breast and make sure it's not sticking out the bottom or touching the bottom of the pan otherwise you won't get a good reading. So now all I have to do is wait for the thermometer to get up to temperature. This one has a function where it'll beep once it gets to the temperature you set. So I just have to listen for that and we'll be good. So they just came up to temperature and I just took them out of the oven and they are looking good. 
So the last thing you need to do is just let them rest and sit there for a few minutes because you want all those juices to settle down so they don't run out when you cut it open right away. And uh, that's pretty much it. Check that out. Nice and steamy, juicy, easy to cut. Some easy ways to make your chicken better. So I hope you learned something, and if you did, leave a comment, thumbs up, all that good stuff. Also, if you didn't see my video from last week, it was a real-time workout where you follow along right with me, and we all suffer together. My legs are finally not sore from that, and that was over a week ago. So, it's a good workout for sure. I'm not sure if that's an indication of how out of shape I am, or how good the workout is. Or maybe both. Anyway, I'll see you guys next week.